Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to the first tournament match. We're about to see the British Empress class face off against the Italian Impero. The Italians have nine 13.5 inch guns, the British have nine 15 inchers. They displace more, but they have some potential weaknesses in other departments. I'm going to switch on AI control, we're going to see how these ships perform. What do you think is going to be the outcome of this battle? Let me know down below in the comment section before you watch the rest of the video. Here we go. Now, here we go. It's the British battle cruisers with their 15-inch guns. And I immediately noticed I was wrong about something I said in tournament selection. I said these British battle cruisers can display 75,000 tons. That's what they were set to, but they don't actually displace that much. They display 61,000 tons. Still a lot more than the Italians. Now, both parties are going to be immediately in range. The situation is random, so every battle is going to be played in a random circumstance. The range, however, will always be 20,000 meters. It's going to be evening, so everybody gets a negative of 26% accuracy. But beyond that, there's no real big detractors. The um, AI has taken control of the ships. I have, for this battle, turned on avoid torpedoes. The British don't have them. The Italians... I forgot, I've seen so many ships. I don't believe the Italians have them either, actually. Now, when it comes to the Italians, they got those 13.5-inch guns. It's going to give them a benefit to reload. They will reload faster. Their gun layout seems to be pretty evenly displaced. ABX turret, pretty standard, really, what you would expect. So, these ships, most likely, are going to be putting out more shells because all those turrets can actually be brought to bear. Is that going to give them the opportunity to win the fight? Let's see. The British. Accuracy, about 4%. Their crew is seasoned. You gotta make sure that the crews are up to snuff. Last tournament, the previous one that is, we have seen what happens if you have a very, very rookie crew. They take all sorts of debuffs. Your accuracy is worse, your reload is worse, your damage control is far worse. The British, by contrast, have a seasoned crew their damage control is 42.8% better than normal. Their accuracy is 20% better. Their aiming is 37% better. Their reload time is 15.7% uh, reduced. So they only get a reload of 40 seconds on these guns. They're currently flinging AP over a range of about 20 kilometers. I think they've selected the ship 22 kilometers out. So let's round that up to 22 and a half. Meaning that when it comes to deck, they can pen 38 inches of armor... That is a big amount of armor they can pen. But so far, they haven't hit yet. The Italians have. And the Empress, name giver of her class, has taken some flooding and some fire damage. What's potentially worse for her is that she's also taken some flooding instability and damage instability. So her accuracy is going to be a bit worse. You're seeing about 9% from her. Uh, I'm seeing 12% from the Lord Warden and Courageous. Well, she just fired, so it's a bit out there to see what exactly we're going to see regarding accuracy. Now, the Lord Warden leading the charge and also opening up with those 7-inch guns. These 7-inchers have potential in the um, setting of fires department. They might be able to light up the Italian ships if only they were selecting high explosive, which they're not. So, most likely, the Italians will just shrug off any 7-inch shell that comes in. Perhaps with the exception of the turret? Oh, sorry, not the turret, the superstructure. Definitely a lot of incoming shell fire. Ricochet. Another parcel. Chance for the Italians to pen is actually pretty good. You can see that they can pen bow and stern on the Empress, as well as superstructure. And potentially some towers. These guys have some really good pen. And you can see that the main tower is, in fact, getting penned on Empress. She's taking quite some damage here. And the British really don't have that much to show for it. Yeah, and they've hit some shells. But I'm not really seeing any serious amounts of damage on the Italian ships just yet. They're still maintaining formation. It doesn't look like the Italians are eager to push in either. I don't really see a reason for them to. 
I mean, so long as they can keep damaging the British at this range, they should be perfectly fine. Because the Italian ships haven't been identified yet, I can't tell you whether or not the Italians can get pinned. The game says unidentified, so I don't know. Even though, of course, um, we eventually will find out that might be too late. Oh, sorry, the Italians do have torpedoes. And in fact, one or more of their torpedo launchers have just been destroyed. No, actually, my mistake. They've been detonated, which means that some of the ammo on the torpedoes is now gone. The amount of fires that the ship is displaying is somewhat worrying, as well as the damage to the main turret. I'm not sure if the main turret is still functional, like the A turret over there, but I... No, I don't know. We're going to have to wait until the ship fires to find out. If the British were able to knock out a turret, that could be really bad news for the Italians. Now, considering all the 7-inch damage that the Lord Warden is doing, it leads me to believe that the ship has indeed switched to high explosive. Whoa! Yep, she splits to a high explosive and she's burned down one of the Italian ships. That's one third of the Italians gone. This ship had so much health left, but she just was not able to weather the storm. She could not put out the fires quick enough. So that is one Italian down, whereas I thought that the Italians are doing quite well. The Italians now also flinging high explosive back at the Empress. And the Empress is probably going to take at least some hits. She's burning in some compartments. Uh, she's lost 11% of her crew. I'm not too worried. But I am kind of worried about how the Italians are getting treated over here. The Empress is taking more and more and more structural damage. Her crew seems to be mostly capable of dealing with the fires. Oh, a full pen on the Italian causing a flooding. I'd love to get these ships identified faster. Another torpedo has been destroyed. What's the range on those launchers anyway? Like 20 kilometers or something? 23. Good lord. Um, but seeing as I can't actually spot them on the deck... Sorry, no, they are on the deck. Sorry, I was confusing them with some other launcher. Um, some other ships have some subwater, underwater torpedo launchers. And those are going to be more difficult to spot. If you can spot them at all. Now, based on the amount of fire that this ship is taking, I think we're going to see this ship also burn to a crisp rather quickly. It seems the Italians are no longer focusing their attention on the Empress, uh, much to their dismay. Or rather, much to their... <laughs> Much to their pleasure, probably. They have instead switched fire to the Lord Warden. And the Lord Warden is giving out as best as she can take. She's not taken that much damage. Uh, the Italians, however, have. And I am very concerned that this Italian ship might suffer the same fate as her sister ship. She is likely to burn down. She's trying to disengage. Look at that. They even have fires somewhere above the ship. Just... I don't know. Um, she's trying to change her spot in the formation, trying to fall back, letting her sister ship here take some more of the attention. They just popped torpedoes into the water. That was the animation for the torpedoes. Now, can the British spot those? Uh, yes, we have sonar one. And the range is about 10 kilometers, so it's going to take a while before these things actually pop up as detectable. We have some damage on the main gun of the Empress, but beyond that, not too serious. Damage-wise, it's 12k for the Brits, 7.5k for the Italians. So we're pretty even. However, the Italian damage capability, like the DPS, is severely reduced now that they've lost a third of their ships. Only if they maintain their focus on one of these ships and just try and hose it down as best they can, do they still stand a chance. And I'd say their best chance is focusing down the Empress with high explosive, hoping that the ship is then going to burn down. The Empress is starting to feel some of the burn of the Italians. And that's a whole bunch more fires that just got set over there. The amount of crew is down to 20% loss, which means their control is down to uh, about 90%. So their ability to control fires is getting reduced. What is this? Why are you switching to the Courageous? It's not the right thing to do. 
The British, however, have also switched their targets and are now fully launching an offensive into the primary ship of the Italians, the most healthy one, for the moment. Because at this rate, this ship is very quickly going to find herself just as damaged as her sister. Now soon we'll be able to actually see what kind of fires and damage she has going on. And 98, come on, 99... There we go. All the torpedo launchers aboard the Sanita have been destroyed. She's unable to fire any more torps. There were torps in the water. Oh, there she goes. Extensive fire. Unfortunate. I wonder how it is that these Italians are so vulnerable to fire damage. Oh, torpedo in the water detected. That came in at a pretty short range, that warning. About 1.7 clicks out, I guess doesn't really matter, because the Warden is perfectly capable of dodging those. Now, back to the Italians. The uh, Partenop has a veteran crew. She has maximum bulkheads and spacious quarters, so even if she does take a bunch of crew damage, it won't immediately impair her ability to fix those fires. Beyond that, I'm seeing quite a lot of defensive measures. You got reinforced bulkheads 2, and the flood 3. Um, it's a good ship. It's a good design. Their armor is well enough, but their superstructure does seem vulnerable to fire. Now, these British ships, they spit out every 11 seconds a couple of these HE shells. Um, that's not even counting the main guns. So it's just British volume of fire that appears to be getting them the win on this particular battle. That torpedo just uh, passed the Lord Warden. The Italians are still trying to focus down the Lord Warden. And yeah, she's taking a bunch of fire damage now. But there she goes. Partenop. Sunk. Extensive fire. So, much like in the previous tournament, the British find themselves very, very, very dangerous. Wait, what? The Lord Warden has sunk? That might have been an extensive fire just before the other one went down. I'm sorry I missed that. Yeah, the Lord Warden has been sunk. So, um, that is the first couple of points to the Italians. Uh, sorry, <laughs> to the British. My bad. So there we are. First victory to the British. This means that the British are getting a point. Uh, does this mean the Italians are out of the fight? No, absolutely not. The Italians still have plenty of opportunity to come back. They're going to have to fight the Germans. They're going to have to fight the French. They're going to have to fight the US. And with those points, they can still gain quite a lot of points and potentially fight themselves back. But for now, the British have gained first blood, first few points, and are on to fighting the US in a few videos later. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, is fire damage perhaps a bit too strong? Like overall in the game, I've burned down plenty of ships using extensive fires. And it seems to be a really viable strategy. Uh, just to get rid of ships. I don't think it's the most fun, but, well, it works. So, yeah, there's that. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, then please hit the join button down below. Join the channel as a member or join me on Patreon. And uh, potentially even join me for a monthly game session that I hold. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon for more battles.